Hello everyone! Today we've got a fun new wizard to play with. Thoughts on that? I've just finished a book recently about the many types of monsters. I had forgotten a few from ages past. Is your ex-wife on there? Cause she's not that much fun to deal with. Terrible beasts that would roam the world during winter when they knew they couldn't be stopped. I'm glad they are gone. But winter is here. The White Walkers have returned. Have a good day Dee. Learn something new. Like how to put a fire out? Oh, I can't put his fire out. I learned that's new today. You can't put the wizard's fire out. Unfortunately for our friend Linus. So what this is, is basically a mod that allows us to marry the wizard, different from the one I've been using recently. And it gives him new dialogue along the way, plus new heart events for 2 hearts, 4 hearts, 8 hearts, 6 hearts, and 10 hearts. And the wizard's very favorite gift is clicking right here because it raises him all the way to 10 hearts in an instant. Correction, because he's single, he can only get to 8 hearts. You need to give him gifts to make him love you. And we get the first heart event. I was going to give him the bouquet of flowers, but just a heart event. Ah, D, I foresaw you're coming today. Please join me. Did you know I was going to propose to you? Bet you didn't foresee that. Is it safe to be in the same room as the boiling cauldron of green goo? How goes your quest with the Junimos, hmm? It's going great. I've enslaved like a thousand of them on my farm. They're picking my crops for me. I don't need the money. I just like to make them work. Excellent. You have been chosen for an important task, D. Do not falter. I mean... Here, I have something for you. A lesson in the pervasive energies of the world. Come closer. I'd rather not. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Do you see this symbol here? Yeah, my kids do that. It's sidewalk chalk. This is a gate, a portal to another world, a doorway through which an elemental can traverse, or a window through which I can peer. What happens if I drop my kids in it? Have you ever encountered an elemental? You mean the blue squishy things in the mine? That would be a slime. I shall not pass your ignorance along to them. For that, you may count yourself lucky. Yeah, when I hit them with my sword, they explode. Elementals are a sort of spirit composed of the most pure building blocks of our universe. They are rarely seen by the common human. They show themselves only to the truly special. Some, like myself, are fortunate enough to seek and find them, eventually forming a bond of sorts. Like the bond with your ex-wife? Because that didn't seem to last. The spirits that you have encountered in the town are not elementals. They are something more derivative and simplistic. Though still intriguing, nevertheless, I believe it is safe to say they have taken an interest in your fate. And whenever a spirit takes interest, so must we all. I ate sap for breakfast. Perhaps someday you will attract greater attention. Until then, serve the world D. I will serve the world D. Be at peace, always. The new wizard wants me to serve the world D. I like this one. Oh yeah, we still gotta give him the bouquet because he's only at 8 hearts. I also have no idea when, where, or how these heart events trigger, but here's another one. Not sure what order these are in. You're throwing crap into the pot. Ah. Oh D. I did not hear you enter. You have caught me in the midst of some rather delicate work. You're yelling at the pot. What are you working on? It's humor him. Make him feel special. I find myself in need of a way to produce artificial energies for my own use. I, uh, have not been sleeping lately. I hope to remedy that with this ritual, but I've only achieved frustration, as you might note. You should go mining for a while. That'll make you pass out. You wake up at Harvey's clinic, though, which is kind of weird. Tell me, D, what do you do when you cannot sleep? Well, I never do a hard day's work. I don't know how to count, but I do take my sleeping bag and lie under the stars. Very introspective. I'm not sure you would be apt to understand if I attempted to explain the complexities of the ritual I'm undertaking. Wizard, I'm a farmer. Less big words, please. So I'm doomed to toil until I succeed or fall into my own cauldron. Can I watch if that happens? Or set up a GoPro? I really want to see that. We have the option to stop him or leave him alone. We're just going to leave him to his own devices. It's worked out pretty well for him so far. Curses. And... What seems to be the problem? Okay, he doesn't really have a problem. I'll be fine. Leave me to my work. As long as your work involves getting married. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. So he's currently at 8 hearts, as far as I know. He's currently at 10 hearts. We've seen two of his heart events. We've got three more to go. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they're going to start. So let's try 11 a.m. Middle of the day. Try a few different locations. See if we get another heart event. We have one already. We just needed it to be later in the day. Hey, wizard, have you slept yet? Oh, D, you're here. That's good. I was wanting to talk to you. That's what people always say when they're about to bore me. I think it's about time you knew my true name, don't you think? Yeah, it's wizard. It says that right there in the dialogue box. Embrasmodius. That's the name I gave you to start, and it is indeed my true name. I don't see the problem then. But it is not my whole name. And I don't care. Names have power, you see. But I've been very careful not to let anyone who would abuse it know. 
Yet you're about to tell me. Why are you standing on the table? Get off that. I trust you enough to tell you. Well, that's your first mistake. And it's probably going to be your last. Magnus. My name is Magnus. That's a stupid name. And you're a stupid wizard. Please, from now on, when we're alone, won't you call me that? I... Okay, I don't really want to be alone with you anymore. I never thought there'd be someone who I'd trust this much. I wonder if that was one of his later heart events, because he seems very hesitant to let you know his name. And since I can't seem to find his last few heart events, we're probably just going to go ahead and get married and get some entertainment out of that. I know I just met you this morning, but if I give you this, you have to marry me. It's a little known fact that the wizard in his true form is two black lines. And the whole wedding ceremony just goes dark, because we're not actually allowed to see that. I'm actually marrying an invisible wizard. This is probably the best spouse I've ever married because I don't actually have to look at them. Alright, he brought the chalk circle. Now I can drop my kids into it at home. Is that a romance novel? They're spell books, but they look strangely familiar to cookbooks. Yeah, he's really just a chef. Most of these are in languages you don't understand. English. Once again, just a farmer. Uh, I don't know why he always... He turns into two black lines every time we try and interact with him. I've married a geometric shape. As always, when I run into a dead end, I should just check the mail. Greetings, Dee. Many untold wonders are sheltered amongst the trees. Today, in particular, a strange energy stirs in the forest. If you would like to learn heretofore unknown secrets, meet me in the hidden woods north of my tower. Sincerely, Gary. I can't remember what his name was. He's not even here. I wonder if you actually have to do it on the same day you get the mail. Because if that's the case, I missed it by a few days. Here we go. I got it. Just had to make it a little bit later in the day because the wizard isn't an early riser. Ah, D. You came. Yep. Yes, very good. Go on. If you want to get to the point, any time now, I'm pretty busy. As you know, I have devoted much of my life to divination and communication with ill-understood life forms. I didn't, and I don't really understand what that means. As such, I have lost much of what comes naturally in human conversation. It is difficult for me to, uh, how is it said? Talk? Converse? E? Listen. I'm trying, you're just making it awfully hard because you're not very interesting. Open your mind, open your senses. Can you hear it? All I hear is some idiot talking. Please get to the point. My heart pounds in my chest more fiercely than I've ever known it to. Yeah, I made your coffee at a Red Bull this morning. The energies of the earth surge around us. That's literally just the wind. It can be no accident. No, I have made no mistake. It's actually thanks to the earth's rotation. Even the trees can sense how I feel for you. That might just be the weirdest thing anyone's ever said to me in Stardew Valley. I thought such a thing beyond the realm of possibility after my ex-wife. Well, but never mind her. I care nothing for her now. I do. She's next. I care only for you, D. He only cares about D. You have enchanted me, D. I, uh, sorry. I think you've made a mistake. I don't feel the same way. We're still gonna get married, but I just, I don't feel the same way. I see. No need to apologize. This was... Yeah, I don't need to apologize, you do. Never mind, good idea. May I leave now? I suppose I will see you later, D. Yeah, we live together, so I suppose we will. Ouch, rejected on his wedding day, that's rough. But if that's the worst thing that happens to you today, consider yourself lucky. Always in the kitchen, but never making breakfast. Good morning, dear, another day of farm chores, huh? I'll be cheering for you. Wow, that's very helpful. Did you cheer these seeds into crops? Could you cheer the animals fed? Could you cheer me up some breakfast? Because none of that seems very helpful. I wonder if he likes these. Crystal fruit. I brought you some garbage I found on the ground. Thank you, this will prove useful, I think. You'd better be looking at breakfast recipes. Oh, no dialogue, just that. It's spring now, have you done anything useful? Well, a new year has arrived. You have a plan for what you want to accomplish this year? Probably, realistically, two to three more marriages. I feel pretty hopeful. That's pretty short-sighted for someone as wise and magical as you are. I've learned that the final heart event happens with Linus after dark, which is strange because normally after dark, Linus likes to spend his time looking for dinner in the garbage cans. Speaking of which, I should probably bring him something. The river rages with possibilities. You can catch fish and gold, more than usual. Indeed, it is a tangled tapestry we weave to follow a single thread impossible. I mean, you can't just pull the thread out, especially when someone is playing with the strings, hmm? Who's playing with the strings? Ah, so you have noticed as well. I might have guessed. These two have a very weird relationship. Hard not to notice. When you have nothing better to do with your time because you live in a tent. Indeed. And it seems the fates, too, take notice this day. Come closer, D. There is no need for you to hide amongst the bushes. 
but that's what I always do in hard events. I'm always lurking somewhere nearby, apparently. We were just speaking of you. Yeah, I was listening. Er, you were. We were. It seems that I'm not the only one who has noticed the way energy swirl about you. Yeah, that's the caffeine. Though he may not be a master of elementals, Linus is perspicuous enough to sense the truth without divining, unlike most mundane folk in this valley. Just to clarify, we are talking about the guy who digs through garbage cans, correct? You hold fate in your hands, D. What will you do with it? Restore the natural order of the world. Oh, you know, extort it from my own gain, obviously. Hmm, it is a dark energy that swirls around you. I hope only that it will not destroy you. These are dangerous powers you meddle with. Tread carefully. Yeah, I'm all over it. Soon, the tides will turn, and if you are not vigilant, the delicate balance may fall. Be prepared. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happens when I date the entire town. I get busted. Until then, seek the energies, D. We will meet again. Yeah, you live in my house. Again. Alright, you can bring Linus home as long as you pet and feed him. And it seems we have one more hard event to do with the wizard. Hi honey, smells good doesn't it? I made you breakfast. The first useful thing you've ever done. You need food to stay energized throughout the day. Yeah, so there you go. Hello, is someone there? I'm always nearby. Nope, nope, today it's the wizard. Oh, you scared me. He scares everyone. You're the one that lives in that tower, aren't you? After 200 years, you might want to get to know the neighbors. Um... Use your words. Wow, wizard's getting his creep on. What are you doing? He's trying to smell your hair. How is it suspended as a pendulum? Her brain? Good question. What? What is fracturing? Apparently your mind. Uh... What is up? The wizard's lost his mind, and I approve. Hopefully he turns Lee into a frog or a rock or something. I mean, she doesn't have a soul anyway, so not a big difference. D, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm mostly just here to spectate. Don't let me interfere. This guy just walked out of the trees over there. I think he's speaking in tongues. It's really freaking me out. Yeah, I put poisonous mushrooms in his smoothie this morning. D, what is trembling? Probably Leah. What is trembling? Wha what? What is the scene? How precedes your life? What is popping? Have you been eating poppy seed muffins? I've decided to apply my newly learned phrases in casual conversation in an effort to form new connections with the people of this town. I'd recommend stop talking to people and just give them items. How do I fare? Honestly, that was terrible. Just stick with the spirits. They don't like you either, but at least they understand you. You were really just trying to ask what's up? Well, just think about it like art. It doesn't have to make sense. Indeed. Why not just say that? Good question. Did I not? What do you expect from someone with purple hair? Perhaps I require more practice. E, you seem to have a strong understanding of these matters. Not really. I can just make people like me. Would you be willing to teach me your ways? No way. I don't know time for you, wizard. I see. I should not have asked. You know, just don't talk to me at all. I offer apologies, young Leah. When next we meet, I hope to be more adept in the ways of mortal communication. Until then, D, Leah, embrace the mysteries of the day. Learn something new. I learned that you're a weird guy. Well, that was weird. Hope he doesn't make a habit of sneaking up on people and shouting, What is up, Canis Lupus Familiaris? For being weird, you can have some garbage. This is a pretty terrible gift, isn't it? What? That's the art I made for you. Called the way I feel about you. The wizard, officially now, is in second place for most divorces in Stardew Valley history. At least this one didn't involve any illegitimate children. At least I think it didn't. That's what you have for not showing me any magic tricks. You have no business here. Leave me be. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Alright, well that was interesting. I definitely love the mods where you get new heart events because it tends to add a lot to the character and people can make their own takes on the character. If you want this one, link down below in the description. Other than that, I hope you liked it. Thank you all for watching.